Hello everybody, this is TaterHater540, and welcome back to Let's Play Illusion of Gaia for the SNES. In the last episode, we came to Edward's castle without the crystal ring that he told us to bring. Because, well, we're rebels like that, and we just wanted to say hi. And, uh, for that he threw us in jail, which we were summarily sprung out of by Hamlet the pig, destroyed our house. In this episode, we are going to knock out the first dungeon in the game, and meet a couple of new faces, go a couple of new places, and uh, let's go ahead and carry on with that. This will actually be my second time recording this dungeon, because I, like an idiot, started recording last time and didn't uh, forgot to hit the record button. And this actually makes like the fourth time I played through this dungeon today because I ran a practice run earlier to make sure I knew where everything was, even though I really didn't need to, but I didn't want to look like an idiot on, on camera. So, we just go kill all these bats, and um, right you can see I'm gathering the, uh, the red jewels there, the dark soul gems, or whatever they're called, with my telekinesis, you can bring them to you so I can walk to them. Um, in the pre, uh, I forgot to mention in the last episode, those actually, you get a hundred of those, you get an extra life, which means that you don't have to start the whole dungeon over if you die here, which I don't think there are actually enough enemies to get a hundred soul gems in this first dungeon, oh, and, um, but that's okay, we probably won't need it. Uh, this dungeon is pretty easy, uh, pretty straightforward. Um, which is funny because Grandpa Bill made it sound like that this was some kind of horrible labyrinth, that some kind of maze that we were going to have all sorts of trouble getting out of. I'm taking all kinds of damage. That we're going to have trouble getting out of, but really it's not that hard. Um, the psychic power, when you're, block, when you're spinning your staff like that, you can actually also use that to block, see like I did there. But you can block projectiles that are coming at you if you just have that up. It just ding and it bounces off. Alright, kill these bats up here. What is that? What what is that? What is this flower following us? What does it want? You hit it? Hey, what are you doing? Oh the flower tops. Alright, well, whatever. Um if we come over here, these statues, you can move with your telekinesis to pull them all back. Get in behind them. Kill these guys over here. There really isn't uh, much to talk about for this dungeon. At least not right now. Um, because it's like that. But, anyways, so how's everyone doing? Having a wonderful Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, December the 6th or 7th, I believe. Oh, jeez. Taking, you know, taking a lot of hits here. Um, let's see over here for these guys. I like, as I said in the last video, it is actually in your best interest to kill all the enemies in a room because like you saw in the last one, you actually get a power up at the end of the room and all the, all the enemies are dead. And that actually gave me a strength boost. You can tell I'm doing a lot more damage than I was previously. I mean, it was only one point more, but uh, at this point in the game, the extra two points is a lot. I walked right into that, dude. I promise my practice run was not this bad. Um... But you come over here, open this chest, and you get an herb. Herbs uh, heal you. They just go into your inventory and they heal you. And um, I want to say that there are not very many herbs in this game. I want to say there's only like 12 of them in the whole game. So you want to use them very sparingly. Uh, save them mostly for bosses and such if you need them. Alright. But there are plenty of other things that will help us, um, that will bring our health back up throughout the game if we need it. Kill these guys. Oh, block. Kill these guys. Come on. Come back up. Come on. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, oh, you're dead. Alright. As you're walking through here, these spears are going to fall down. I'm going to hit me. But if you just walk straight through it, then they just go past you. No big deal. 
keep collecting those gems. Like I said, there really isn't a whole lot to say throughout most of this dungeon. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty easy. Oh, jeez, man. This isn't looking good. If I get hit one more time, I might actually have to cut out a death here. Alright. Oh, as it says, this, uh, walk over this switch, it says it's rusty. It won't go in, but if you come over here, kill these dudes. Whoa. Taste my mighty purple flute. Alright, we jump down onto the switch, opens the door. Come in here, and there is a red jewel. There are actually three red jewels in this dungeon. The first two are pretty pretty easy to get, pretty uh, actually pretty hard to miss. Um, we talked to the spirit over here, he just explains the dark gems to us again, even though we are, I already told you that. Alright. We're going to move on now. Now this part, you're going to just get a sail by bats. But if you just stand right about me, yeah, swing wildly, you get all of them right there in a line. And right, for that, we get a power HP increase, which also heals us. Fantastic, because we weren't doing too hot. There's a flower again. Let's follow it. What does it want? Talk to this. Try playing the flute. Play the melody. Oh, okay, yeah, it wants us to play the, um, the Lola's Melody, so that's the only one we know. Softly play the melody. Listen, everybody. It's so pretty. I would sing this for you, just make up some lyrics, but I'm not too good at that. So we're just going to skip on it. But maybe later. Heard a soft voice from somewhere. Go to the switch on the right hand wall. Alright. The door won't open unless you push the switch on the count of three. When I shout, push the switch. I'll count to three, but don't make a mistake. Alright. So we get this counter over our head. What happens if we go over here? Two. Oh shit, we go over there. Three, bam! Door's open. Go in! And we get this crazy wind sound. Whatever that is. Alright, well, there's the next section. And as you can tell, we actually can't hit this switch to go over the bridge because um, Will is too short. <laughs> He's too short to hit that switch over there, but we're about to fix that. Come over here and kill all these guys. It's bats and skeletons and eyeball monsters. Black. Alright, now four eyeball monsters are going to pop up over here, so you want to try and knock them out as fast as you can. Or else they'll, they'll hit you like they just did me. Once you kill this one, it opens up this little path in the middle. Which leads to a dark gate to dark space. Oh, I didn't kill that guy. Oh, I'll still be there. Whoa, what is this over here? What is this? Who is that guy? Let's see. Will hears a voice in his head. Will, I've been waiting a long time for you to come. I'm Frida and I am eternal. Let me help you on your journey. As time goes by, you'll come to understand my nature. Will gradually lose his consciousness. What is happening? What are you doing, Will? No, don't go to the light! Don't go into the light! Wow, suddenly you're a lot cooler than you were a second ago. Alright. Let enter the Dark Knight Freedom. This is the second form uh, that we can use throughout the game, and actually probably the one you'll be using through most of the dungeons. Um, Freedom is considerably stronger than Will. He doesn't have quite as much range, or um, because he can't do the, the jump, but his overall attack is farther. Go ahead and talk to Gaia here. Record our journey. Alright. Uh, as I said, Freedom is stronger, and he can kill the enemies faster. The, there is actually a third form there over there on the right, but we're, you actually don't find out what that form is until pretty close to the end of the game. And so you guys will just have to wonder because I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to spoil it. So you can, as you can see, Freedom does a lot more damage, and he still has the, the telekinesis power by pushing the same buttons, although he just like moves his sword forward and it shines. No, actually not as cool as we'll spin the flute around. 
kill this guy. Wrong. We're actually pretty much towards the end of this uh, dungeon already. Just collecting these jewels and killing the monsters. And yeah, wipes out the bats in one hit. Which those guys only have 3 HP anyway, so it's not like they're a huge deal to begin with. Alright. Oop, 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 we're okay. Alright, when you get to the spork, you actually go left and kill the skeleton. Oop, boom, there's the second red jewel. Awesome. Come up here, we kill another one of these brown skeletons whose head will pop off and attack us. We get a defense bonus. Which actually makes you take um, one less damage, I believe. I'm not sure if it's one exactly, but... That's the end of the dungeon. We're done already. The enemy is destroyed. Will turn to turn to his original shape. Now, whenever you finish a dungeon, Will, uh, or Frieden, goes ahead and turns back into Will. So that way nobody freaks out, I guess. It's kind of a secret that Will can do this. Even though people already know. The third red gem of this dungeon is actually... If you come around here, look in this barrel... Bam, there it is. Now, for some reason, it actually won't let you get the red jewel from this side of the barrel. You have to go around it. I don't know why that is, but you have to. Alright, who's this person? I saw you, but I'm surprised you can change your shape like me. No, I can't. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm Lily, a Tory girl protected by the flower spirit. How, how do you know a melody you could only have heard from us? Why are you questioning me? I guess you already knew. I wonder if Grandma Lola, she hung it whenever she was dead. I have had some of her pie. It tastes rather unusual, doesn't it? Yeah, snail pie is a little, well, just a little weird. You know my grandmother? Actually, she asked me to rescue you. Well, good job. I'm already rescued myself. Thanks a lot. It's a wind sound again. The elder is calling. I have to go. We'll meet again. Goodbye. Okay, she turns back into a flower and drifts away. Alright, now we're back in the castle, and we're in the basement. And, um, Kara did say that she wanted us to come back for her, as much as I don't want to, we have to. By the way, I hate Kara. The burning passion, because she's annoying. Well, in the beginning of the game, she is. She actually comes around in the end, but at the beginning, she's really annoying and really bratty. Um, by the way, none of the guards give a crap that you're an escape prisoner. Uh, much less that when you come over here and Kara joins you, you're s they still don't care. See this guy? Asleep. Good job. I applaud your guarding abilities. Of course, you've come. Thank you. Was the old was the guard asleep outside? His nickname is Old Snorehead. Old Snorehead? Oh, man. That's a, that's a knee slapper. Your little pig came... Uh, his name is Hamlet. He's cute. He's very smart. He has some kind of strange pig power. Strange pig power. I wonder exactly what that entails, but it seems to foreshadow maybe some important role for Hamlet later. So, <clears throat> we can go ahead and just head towards the front door. And once you do, Kara goes, wait, it's going to be a long trip. We should get food. So we go back down to the basement, even though we just came from there. Maybe checking this first barrel here without the lid. You've got a large, yummy roast leg of yak. Or something like that. Alright, so we got some we got some yak leg. I wonder how tasty that is. Let's get out of here for the soldiers find us. That's okay, they don't care. The soldiers hate you so much as a princess they don't care that you're being kidnapped. Even though we're not kidnapping you. Alright, then we get this little little cutscene of Kara and Will walking back to South Cape. So I did actually lie in the other episode when I said that we were going to come back to South Cape. We do this time. But after this, though, seriously, you don't come back here for a long time. Alright, back at Will's house. Oh my god, it's destroyed. I bet it was that pig. 
And those strange powers, those forced powers. Who would do such a thing? Are my grandparents here? Which they're not, actually, in case you didn't guess. Um, there's nothing down here. Kara yells from upstairs eventually. Oh, Will, come upstairs. So we do. What happened? Look at the wall. This mark, a jackal. The jackal's here. He's the hunter hired by my mother, an evil man who will stop at nothing. Once he starts after you, there's no stopping him. He has no regard for human life. <laughs> I don't know if you can really see it there, but there is a little piece of paper what she's looking at that kind of looks like a jackal, I guess. Don't worry, you two. You're the one who... Look, Carrie gets all defensive. Who are you? I'm Will's friend. Lily, do you know anything about this? It's okay. Your grandpa and grandma are safe. They're in my village. Your village? The Tory village. I've never heard of this village. Naturally, my village has a barrier around it. Ordinary people like you can't see it. Let's go, Will. Will's like, alright. You got blue hair. It gives me away from Kara. I'm going too. Damn! It's far too dangerous for a princess. You can't stop royalty. I do whatever I want. Yeah, see, I can hate it. Typical princess. Always wants things her way. Before we go, you should meet the should we meet the townspeople? We might not be back for a long time. I think something good is going to happen. Is that I don't know that that's really foreshadowing. There's actually for this game's time, there are actually a lot of really dark things that go on in this game, and we'll see some of those later. But anyways, before we leave town, we actually want to go back over to the jeweler gem now that we've got some red jewels under our belt. Talk to him, give him our jewels. And we have seven. There are a total of 50 in the game. We've already got seven. Hold on. Collect more than three, gives you an herb. Collect more than five, and it gives you a defense power, which is awesome. At any time, if you want to talk to him and see what, how many jewels you need, go to Seer Inventory and he'll tell you. Yeah, see, if we get one more, we get a Life Force upgrade. And then later on, down to 50, we get My Secrets. Wonder what my secrets are. Guess we'll find out. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, now, seriously, this time there is nothing else to do here. So, without further ado, we go back to New Will's house. Kara and Lily are downstairs. Just talk to Lily. She says, Are you ready to go? We say, Yep. Kara is still on that something, uh, something good's gonna happen, but they're gonna get in a little fight here, which is pretty funny. You're nitpicking. Have you ever been outside the castle? Stupid. Are you ignorant? Will is my friend, do you get it? Hey Will, are you me my friend too? <laughs> we have we have the option to say yeah, yeah, sure. Or we have the option to say, um, I'm leaving. So I'm gonna say I'm leaving. I'm going with you, let's go. Together the three set off for Lily's village. We get this cutscene again of us just walking across the landscape of the mountains and treacherous passageways. To a Tory village. Here we are. What the crap? There's nothing here. This is stupid. This is my village, but you're probably surprised that there are no houses. A little. Will, try playing the melody that you called me under. Oh, okay. Now, this is actually one of the coolest things here in the game. Is that when you, after you play this melody, melody just listen to the music. And just sit through this again. Ocarina of Time ripoff. Even though you came before it. And listen to this music again. Come on. Dude, we'll do a double time or something. Come on. Melody carried on the wind and spread over the meadow. Now listen here. Yeah, we get a little music change there. Whoa, whoa. There's the village. I knew you were hiding under there. Are you surprised? There's a barrier around this village. Most people can't see it. The princess is getting to be a bother. On the road, all I heard was, My feet hurt. I'm thirsty. I'm tired of hearing it. I can't help it, my feet hurt. Oh, alright, come with me, I'll show you my house. See, Kara's such a baby. Anyways, that does it for this episode of Illusion of Gaia. 
next time we do some exploring around in Lily's Village, maybe even take on our first serious dungeon. Uh, although I don't know if we'll have time to get all the way through it, I'll check that before I start recording. Anyway, join us next time on Let's Play Illusion of Gaia. Have a good day.